So if you are a fresher and want to come into the field of data analytics or if you are experienced and want to switch your domain to data analytics. So make sure to subscribe this channel because here we do not bring only job notification but also upgrade your skills. Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing good. So I had a lot of comments regarding to make a dedicated video regarding Power BI. So I thought why not make a dedicated video to show a specific project in the Power BI. So I have prepared this project to give an overview of Power BI where you can learn basic things about Power BI. So this project is going to be very brief. If you want me to make a detailed video, please comment down in detail Power BI. If many people are interested, so I will make a specific video for that also. So first of all, let's know a little bit about the background of the dashboard. So this is the organization dashboard. This is fully interactive dashboard. In the left hand side you can see the employee status. There is a drop down. If you will click on it, you can see the type of employment. For example, contractor, full time, intern. If I will click on the full time, the data will get vary. As you can see, the data is changed. I will click again in the full time so that I can get the data as it was before. So the dashboard is fully interactive. So in the right side you have job roles, then location, then average salary by job title, summation of salary by company name and the last average salary by company. So let's start making dashboard. So dashboard banane ke liye sabse pehle chahiye hota hai data set. Now question arises that data set kaan se lena hai. So there is one website called Kegel. जहाँ पे आपको एन नंबर ऑफ डेटा सेट मिल सकते हैं चाहे वो इंडस्ट्री से रिलेटेड हो चाहे वो एजुकेशन से रिलेटेड हो सो so, हम लोग यहाँ पे सॉफ्टवेयर इंडस्ट्री सैलरी डेटा सेट टू का डेटा लेने वाले हैं सो व्हेन यू विल सर्च ऑन इट यू विल फाइंड द डेटा सेट एंड फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन डाउनलोड दिस एंड वन मोर थिंग इट इज़ नॉट अ स्पॉन्सर वीडियो फ्राम द केगल अगर आपको कोई अच्छा डेटा सेट मिलता है कहीं और से तो आप उसको भी रेफर कर सकते हैं and if you want to use this i will mention the link in the description box so aaj ka agenda jaan lete hain ki dashboard mein kya business requirement hain so dashboard banane ka main purpose ye hi hota hai ki wo koi bhi business requirement ya business problem ko solve kar raha hota hai through which the higher level of authority can take the meaningful decision by the help of their data सो आज के इस डैशबोर्ड्स में हम छः के को मेंशन करने वाले हैं सो द फर्स्ट इज़ टॉप फाइव कंपनी बाय सैलरी तो हमें टॉप फाइव कंपनी जानना है जिसमें कि एवरेज सैलरी बहुत अच्छी होती है द सेकंड इज़ टॉप जॉब टाइटल बाय एवरेज सैलरी सो जो भी जॉब टाइटल हैं जिनकी एवरेज सैलरी ज़्यादा है हम उनको रिप्रजेंट करेंगे थर्ड थिंग इज़ फिल्टर बाय लोकेशन so there will be arrange a filter where we can change the location and the same data will going to change the fourth is filter by employee status fifth is filter by job role and the last is top five companies by rating so before we go further let's see ki ye six point kaise justify karte hai humare data set ko so for this let's jump into the excel file that we have downloaded so it is the data which we are going to import in the Power BI. So it's may hai rating, company name, job title, salary, salary reported, location, employee status and job role. So data proper hai ya nahi hai jaanne ke liye jalli se hum filter laga lete hain. For this just click on filters and click on filter. So as you can see a drop down is mentioned in every header. So starting with the rating. So as you can see it is starting from 1 to uh, 5 यहाँ पे कोई null values नहीं है So if we click on the company name यहाँ पे भी सारी companies के name है कोई irregularities नहीं है data में And same for the job title Location Employment status So हमने सारा data check कर लिया है There is no irregularity in the data now let's see the first business requirement. So there they have mentioned top five companies by salary. So यहाँ पे अपने पास companies के name हैं और उनकी mentioned salary है जिसके through हम 
डेटा को रिप्रेजेंट कर सकते हैं नाउ नेक्स्ट थिंग इज वाई आई एव मैंशन फिल्टर बाय लोकेशन एम्प्लॉय स्टेटस एंड जॉब रोल ओनली सो रीज़न बींग हमारे पास जॉब टाइटल लोकेशन एंड जॉब रोल पर ही लिमिटेशन है इफ़ यू सी द डेटा यहाँ पे कंपनीज जो है उस पर हम फिल्टर नहीं लगा सकते बिकॉज हम हमारे पास एन नंबर ऑफ कंपनीज हैं बट इफ़ यू सी द जॉब टाइटल इट इज़ लिमिटेड ओनली सेम फॉर द लोकेशन सो इन दिस वे यू कैन मेक योर ओन बिजनेस रिक्वायरमेंट एंड यू कैन प्ले विद डेटा सो विदाउट फर्दर डिले लेट्स जम्प इन टू द पावर बी आई सो वैन यू विल ओपन द पावर बी आई फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इट विल शो यू सच इंटरफेस वेयर ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड यू हैव रिपोर्ट व्यू टेबल व्यू एंड मॉडल व्यू सो रिपोर्ट व्यू में आप कोई भी डैशबोर्ड बना सकते हैं टेबल व्यू में आप टेबल को देख सकते हैं उनके कॉलम एंड डेटा को देख सकते हैं उसको मैनिपुलेट कर सकते हैं इन द मॉडल व्यू आप डिफरेंट टेबल के बीच रिलेशनशिप को इस्टेब्लिश कर सकते हैं लाइक वन टू मैनी मैनी टू वन एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स इन द राइट हैंड साइड वी हैव थ्री थिंग्स फिल्टर विजुलाइजेशन एंड डेटा सो जो भी आप डेटा इम्पोर्ट करोगे वो टेबल के फॉर्म में यहाँ पे शो होगा विजुलाइजेशन में आप कोई भी डेटा एलिमेंट्स को पिकअप कर सकते हैं वी हैव एन नंबर ऑफ डेटा विजुलाइजेशन टूल फिल्टर्स में आप डिफरेंट कंडीशन लगा के अपने डेटा विजुलाइजेशन को इन्हेंस कर सकते हैं सो लेट्स फर्स्ट इम्पोर्ट द डेटा उसके लिए यहाँ पे यू कैन सी इम्पोर्ट डेटा फ्राम द एक्सल क्योंकि हमारे पास एक्सल फाइल है इसलिए हम एक्सल चूज कर रहे हैं अदरवाइज इफ सो इफ वी गो इन गेट डेटा एज यू कैन सी यहाँ पे एन नंबर ऑफ डेटा सोर्सेस है हमारे पास जहाँ पे हम कनेक्शन इस्टेब्लिश कर सकते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आपका सीक्वल सर्वर है सो वी कैन इस्टेब्लिश द कनेक्शन एंड गेट द डेटा फ्राम द सीक्वल सर्वर सो जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द मोर ऑप्शन and you can see n number of option through which we can connect from the source to get the data so as of now i am clicking on the excel then all files clicking on the data and open it so first of all we will see the data type detection so yahan pe initially default 200 rows aapko show karengi you can also click the based on entire data set jisse ki aapka full data load ho jayega then downwards we have two option load and transform data so when you will click on the transform data wo aapko power query editor pe le jayega jahan se aap apne data ko clean ya modify kar sakte hain सो so, अभी इसमें रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं है सो आई विल क्लिक ऑन द लोड ऑप्शन सो एज यू कैन सी हमारा जो डेटा है वो लोड हो चुका है वैन यू विल क्लिक ऑन द ड्रॉप डाउन यू कैन सी द कॉलम दैट वी हैव सो डैशबोर्ड को बनाने से पहले एक बैकग्राउंड तैयार कर लेते हैं फॉर दैट जस्ट क्लिक ऑन इंसर्ट नॉट इंसर्ट मॉडलिंग और व्यू इन व्यू यू कैन चूज एनी ले आउट फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम चूजिंग दिस think this could be fine or else uh, black should be more appealing yeah that is good so hamara jo first business question hai wo hai top 5 companies by salary so for that i will choose a cluster bar chart so in the y axis i am pulling the company name and on the x axis the salary now let me make it more broader so you can be able to see so when i will keep my mouse pointer to the bar you can see the company name that is amazon and the sum of salary so summation of salary do not make any sense it will just indicate the revenue humko ye janna hai ki average salary kitna deti hai amazon so for that we need to create a new column with the help of dax functionality so there are two ways to create a new column so let's see the first one for that just right click on the salary you can see the new column just click on it so i am going to give this as average salary and here i am going to give average so you can see ki just maine ab likha hua hai aur yahan pe average aa chuka hai so after giving average you can choose the dedicated table and the columns 
salary data set and the column is salary then I will close the bracket and click on the checkbox so as you can see our average salary column ban chuka hai. so if you don't want to use this you can simply click on the drop down here in the summation and choose the average so yahan pe humko sum of salary nahi chahiye abhi and we have to give average salary now the names of company are too small i want to enlarge them for this just click on the format visualization it is in the y axis so i will click on the y axis and i will increase the font size so you can see it is increased and i want to change the color to the white so as you can see there are many companies i want to see the top 5 company by average salary so for this so first of all click on the visual now in the filter type you can choose top n and give the number 5 because we want top 5 companies now in by value you have to tell in what reference you want top 5 so i want average salary and click on the apply filter so as you can see the top 5 companies that have high average salary now if you want to change the color of the bar just select the visual there is an option of bar click on it and in the colors you can choose uh, this one should be perfect uh, so now our second requirement is job title by average salary so keeping it as the same format i will just choose ctrl c and ctrl v and on the y axis i will choose the job title so as you can see when you will drop your cursor to the bar there is a software development engineer sde which has high average salary then we have software development engineer in test then software development engineer and at last if you go downwards there is a web development which has the lowest average salary so according to the same pitch you can make your own analysis dashboard so let's make the bar in a different color for this just go in this section choose the bar and here you can change the color then ctrl c and ctrl v now i want to showcase top 5 company by rating so for that choose the visual there we can see the y axis and x axis so in the y axis just give the company name just drag and drop here and we want to see the company name with the reference of rating so just drag and drop here so if we want to see the bottom five companies you can just uh, click on the bottom the number is already five and we want to change from the average salary to the rating because we want to see with the reference of rating and click on the apply field so as of now i don't want to showcase the bottom five company because it will however defame the companies present in the data set so i want to make it the top and click on apply filter and you can see the top five companies by rating that is tcs amazon accenture Infosys and Cognizant so you can see in the tooltip they are presenting the company's name and the sum of rating so I don't want to see the sum because it do not make any sense I want to see the average rating that they get uh, right click to the rating then new column so it will ask us to write a dex function then I will give average rating average then table name and the column bracket close click on the right option 
so as you can see we got a column with the name of average rating now I would like to change the color of uh, bar to make it more highlighted I want to make it green now maximum work is done we just have to add up the filter by location by employee status and by job role now to add the filter we have an option of slicer so first of all we will choose the location so filter by location just drag and drop in the field so here our location is just resize the visual now again control c and control v to make it to the same format so our next filter is to make the filter with respect to job role so i will drag and drop the job role so our next filter is with respect to the employee status so i will just remove the job role and click on the employee status so all three are of same format and I want to change the format of uh, employee status since they have only four options. So I will go in uh, this section. There is a slicer setting. I will click on it. So in style as of now it is selected uh, vertical list. I want to make it a drop down. So as you can see it has become a drop down if you want to choose any kind of option just click on the drop down and you can choose from here and as you can see the data is reflecting according to whatever we have chosen so at last i want to represent one data that is summation of salary so that if anyone click on the particular company they can see the summation of revenue that the company is earning for that add a card from here just click on it and uh, just uh, resize the card and I want to see the summation of salary so I will drag and drop and here it is if I will select the Amazon company the data will change oh Amazon company is earning pretty good and let's see the Infosys the Accenture and Cognizant so by seeing the data do not make any conclusion it is just a sample format that i am showing you it is not the real data so at last i have just resized each and every visual and you can see what is interactive if you will choose any kind of option it will going to represent the data so just for an example if i want to see what all the top five companies by revenue in the bangalore location so i will choose the bangalore and I can see the TCS and IBM and Accenture are the top three companies that have high average salary. And if I want to see how many full time members are there, so I will choose the full time and I can get the relevant data. This is how our dashboard look like. So to learn it from the sketch, I will highly recommend you to download any kind of data set and make your own business test cases where you are going to make your own requirement and play with the data so if you have any kind of doubts or queries just mention in the comment i will be happy to answer your questions and if you want a dedicated detailed video regarding power bi just mention detail power bi in the comment so that is all in today's video i hope you liked it so click on the like button and subscribe for weekly updates